Hey guys, Megan here. Welcome to my channel if you've never been before. Hi! Uh, today I'm going to talk about Weight Watchers. Uh, I have officially been on Weight Watchers for four weeks, so a month now. And I just kind of want to talk about the plan that I'm on and how much weight I've lost and that kind of stuff. So, I am on the green plan which means that every single day I get 30 points, 30 smart points, and then for the whole week I get 35 bonus points um, that I can use during any, any day. And the week is from Monday to Sunday, so every Monday you're starting over. So, um, the green plan, um, I know that the green plan is not like the blue and purple plan, I think. I think eggs on the blue and purple plan are zero points. On the green plan, eggs are two points. So, um, that's for one egg. Um, so, it's a, it's a little bit different, but it really works for me. I've enjoyed it. Um, there have been days when I have went over my 30 points in my day, but the bonus points are really helpful. Is that what they're called, bonus points? Let's see. Weekly remaining. So they call them weekly remaining points. 35 weekly remaining points. Um, so yeah, so basically that's the plan that I'm on. There's not really a whole lot that, um, a whole lot more to explain about it except for zero point foods. The zero point foods on the green plan are like fruits and veggies. Um, Green beans are zero points, but like black eyed peas, they're three points. So it just depends on what vegetable you're eating. But like a salad, if you order a salad at a restaurant, most of that will be zero points except for the dressing that you use, the croutons, and the cheese. So, I mean, I'm not a huge salad girl. I can have it occasionally, but most of the time if I'm going out to eat, I will not eat a salad because <laughs> I want something that's more filling than a salad because a lot of times I feel like a salad does not fill me up and I just kind of get tired of it as I continue eating it. So me ordering a huge salad at a restaurant would not, it wouldn't be very beneficial to me. And I feel like you can't really take leftovers home with a salad either because it's just going to probably go bad. Um, I'm a leftover girl, so a lot of times I try to half my meals when I go out to eat and that really helps me stay on track with Weight Watchers. But there are some times where I'm like, you know, I really want to eat this whole meal. Um, you can check out my What I Eat in a Day video that I just posted on Monday. You can check that out. I'll put a little card up at the top and I'll put it in the description below as well. Um, you can check that out so you can kind of see one of my days of eating um, and there's actually a clip of me eating out and so yeah so since I started Weight Watchers my WW I've lost 9.6 pounds I thought I was gonna reach that 10 pound mark but I got so close I'm only 0.4 pounds off so that's not bad um, but let me look here. I started at 152 pounds and now I am at, well, at my weigh-in on Monday because Monday is my weigh-in day. Uh, I weighed 142.4 so like throughout the week that fluctuates, you know. Um, any, I mean most people know that your weight's going to fluctuate a little bit. So, um, so yeah, I've just really been working hard, but Weight Watchers doesn't make me feel deprived. I feel like I can pretty well eat anything that I really want to. I just have to track it. And I like the smart points better than like calorie counting because it factors in everything. And I don't have to worry about macros or anything like that. I just have to worry about points. And it's really not that difficult to do they made it super simple on the app um, to track everything and it's just, it's awesome. I am signed up for the three month plan, so um, I've got a couple months left to go. 
on Weight Watchers. So I'm hoping that by then I'll be at my goal weight. My goal weight is like 120 to 125 pounds. Um, really, I'd like to be at 120, but honestly, I'm going to, whenever I hit 120, I'm going to be like, okay, now what? Am I happy here? Do I want to go any lower? Because my, my BMI for my height and everything, like, apparently I could be 105 pounds and, and I would still be in a healthy weight range. Me personally, I think that that's too small of a weight for me to weigh. Because that's what I weighed when I got married. And, you know, after you have a baby and everything, you're more developed as a woman. It's just natural. So, I feel like 105 would be too skinny. Um, but maybe 115 wouldn't be too bad. But 120 is like my goal weight. And then I'll just kind of see how I feel from there. It's just about feeling good, being able to fit in my clothes. Which, you guys, this is a Kalia by Carrie shirt. Everything I have on here uh, is Kalia and except my socks but i don't even know if you guys can see those really <laughs> um but this is a small kalia shirt and i'm so excited that i was able to get in it today it makes me super happy because it's been a hot minute i'm actually kind of tearing up um but uh so i am still trying to lose the baby weight i've almost reached the weight that i was when i found out i was pregnant I'm nine pounds away from that because I weighed 133 pounds the day that I found out I was pregnant. And so, I'm getting so close and um, my, my body is, um, it's getting back to normal. Uh, I still have stretch marks and all of that, which is completely normal. Um, and... I, I realized that my body's not going to look the same as it did before I had my baby. That's completely normal. I'm probably going to have some stretchy skin on my stomach. Again, that's just what happens when you have a baby. You grew a whole human inside of you. And it, it's, it's sad that I've been so tough on myself. Um, which is a reason why it took me a while to get into really that mindset of weight loss and stuff because I was just being so negative and like just wishing every single day that I could fit back into my clothes and wishing that it would happen just like that because a lot of people told me that because I was so small before I got pregnant they were I think I feel like I said that weird but because I was so small before I got pregnant everybody would say well you're you're little you'll lose the weight just like that and it didn't happen like that for me. I've had to put in the work. And um, so it's definitely made me more self-aware and realized, I've realized that whenever the time comes where we want to have our next child, Lord willing, um, I'm gonna really try to do better and watch what I eat and, you know, not overindulge which I didn't go too crazy, but I didn't do great either. So, um, yeah. But I think that covers everything, really. Um, but if you're pregnant right now, or if you have just had a baby, don't be too hard on yourself, because your body, you created a human. And that is one of the coolest things and one of the biggest blessings that you could ever, ever do. And so don't be too hard on yourself. Um, we all lose weight differently. We are all on our own journey and it's not all about the number on the scale. Yes, I have a goal weight, but it's just about feeling good. I wanna feel good. I wanna be a good example for my daughter. I wanna be able to play with her in the floor, run after her, like play on the playground with her at the park and not have to worry about getting out of breath and not feeling like I can keep up, you know. And so she's really been a, um, a motivator for me for this. And so um, for those of you that might be wondering, well, when are you going to have your next kid? I want to lose the weight, get to where I want to be, and enjoy that time for a little bit. And then we will think about our second child at some point. 
um, you know, but ultimately it's all in God's hands. I'm not the author of Tom, okay? He, he's all about that, Tom. He, he knows. <laughs> I don't know what he knows. He knows a lot more than I do, thank God. So yeah, I feel like I've kind of rambled on long enough. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that I covered everything. I probably should have wrote down some notes, but I didn't. I thought I would just do it on the fly and see what happens. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, thumbs up this video, comment down below any video requests you have for the future. That'd be great. Um, any questions you might have for me, Feel free to ask those down below. And don't forget to subscribe. My goal is 500 subscribers for right now. I'm trying to be realistic. So if you want to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications, that would be great. I would appreciate it so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. I can't really do the, um, that thing. Peace out.